Right now, I'm in Charleston, West Virginia, which is the capital city of the state of West Virginia. Coal is a huge industry, not only in this city, but in the state of West Virginia. This is Capitalism 2012. Bill, how much of the nation's coal comes from West Virginia, and where does it get exported to? Well, about 16 percent, uh, something like on a, on a big year when we do 160 million tons, the, the country does about a billion tons, a little more than a billion tons a year. Uh, so we do a, if we do 140 million, we do 14 percent. If we do 160 million, we do 16 percent. So roughly somewhere between 13 and uh, 16 percent. When it leaves West Virginia, where does it go? And how does it get there? Well, it goes to a variety of countries, about 26 of them, I think. It leaves West Virginia by train or by barge, river barge. From the mine, it's brought by truck to here, and then it's transloaded onto the barges and either goes to New Orleans. Uh, typically, that's where it's going if it's waterborne. If you could describe for me the life and the challenges of a West Virginia coal miner. Well, let me start off by saying they're the finest coal miners in the world best coal miners in the world are right here in West Virginia. And, and these fellas and, and some ladies, but they work long hours, they work a lot of overtime if they choose to do that. Uh, it's good pay, it's hard work, but you know, they're skilled craftsmen. And I mean, they, they're no longer the old traditional historic image uh, of what people think a coal miner is. Those guys are going every day, they're going somewhere where no human being's ever been before and they're bringing out that fuel to make electricity for people in America and they have, most of the people in America have no idea where the electricity comes from. And the people in New York and in Washington and Baltimore have no idea that their standard of living depends on a coal miner in West Virginia. How many years on average does a guy work as a coal miner? Uh, we've got uh, several that I've talked with that, you know, got 40 years in the mines. And, uh, and, and perhaps some that got more than that. And, uh, and they're tough, they're, they're tough, they're very, very good because as I said, it's very difficult work and uh, it's hard work. And they know it's gonna be a challenge because you're dealing with Mother Earth and, and you're, you're digging into to her veins and uh, uh, everything's a little bit different. So all the conditions are different, the workplace is different every, every moment. And so it's a real challenge. How, how important is the, is the technology and acceptance of clean coal to, to West Virginia? And when one says clean coal, so the, that's a term I, I hear a lot. Right. But no one's ever defined it for me. Well, you know, the, we were talking the other day about everybody talks about it in some futuristic sense. We've got clean coal today. 90% of the power plants that make electricity in this state are in compliance with all the EPA regulations, with the exception of the greenhouse gas, which is new and which is impossible to comply with because there is no commercial way to sequester carbon. And the public just needs to understand that it's not the power company raising their rates and it's not the coal miner raising their rates. It's, it's putting all this control technology on that EPA, literally, out of Philadelphia and Washington are causing to happen. Well, thank you very much for thank all the information. You. I, I, oh, appreciate I appreciate it. it. And the next stop on the Capitalism 2012 tour, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania.